Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I'm joined by Brad from Braggio. Hey! And Kurt from Locals. Second week in a row. How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh! Brad? A uh, bit of Master Jewel. Uh, finished off the season with Valmonica. Mm, and how then... did you do? I don't remember. Okay. <laughs> Plenty of gems. A lot of gems. That's that's all that matters. Many, many gems. But yeah, I had one where like, I had... I was like, I'm retiring. Like, no, no, no. One more game with Val. Let's push it. And had a had a good run. Now let's never speak of them again. <laughs> uh, so, is the thing that we post that was we talked about is the the next game breaking archetype we expect to be released in Master Jewel? Was that public knowledge? No. All right. I am waiting for a certain <laughs> Mahjong deck. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> Theoretically, we'll get some new archetypes soon because the most recent of the um, or the older ones of the selection packs are expiring in I think about three or two days. So very soon there'll be some updates. This week felt a bit light on Master Jewel because yeah. I think they want us going to Jewel Links. Yeah. And in that, I just I don't have as many gems as Ben. Ben so I am like so. It's like I'll do the I'll do the daily stuff to try and get some gems up, but I haven't bought anything yet. I'm not sure how I'm going to approach this next iteration of Jewel Links. It's just funny that I've got the Master Jewel bug in the one week that there's no Master Jewel content. True. I mean, you get to save them for upcoming um, Chinese tile deck. Yeah, whatever that may be. Hmm. I wonder what. Um, also, are we. Um, Breaking the fourth wall and telling everyone that Ben's just there, or is he away? No, he's around. Okay. Ben's around. Ben, not well. Unlike other couch guests where you can hear them, we will not be hearing Ben. <laughs> yeah, we won't, <laughs> we won't hear a fucking His beep from him. Voices <laughs> kaput. Um, I'll go on to my week, because I yeah. feel like your week's still more exciting. Um, so, <laughs> uh, still on uh, Lightsworn to Element, uh, still have hopes of making it better yep. still have not made it better um part well part of the reason is that like today in particular i thought that we were doing the draft. um draft or whatever yep. it's called sealed sealed and then we got there and it mm. wasn't mm. yeah it was kind of wild like i went in and go oh yeah cool uh so any packs like i'm tempted just to buy them and go but i'll i might play sealed no nah, nothing mm. yeah um, so apparently there's another two cases on the way to the store, but there was only... Two? I think that's what he said. Two? Okay. I don't know. Ben said to get one more, but I don't know if he's getting two. I think he said two. Probably, okay. I mean... That'd be good. Should take as many as we can get, to be honest. Yeah. I mean, they'll sell out in the exact same time frame. So <laughs> really doesn't make a great deal of difference. Just means there's a bit more going around. Um, but yeah, um, so yeah, had uh, the thought process that tomorrow slash today for you're listening it's the public holiday i've got some time aside i'll actually sit down and make some tweaks to the deck um because we won't need the deck on sunday uh turns out i did need the deck today would have been nice <laughs> to have made those changes here mm-hmm. we are mm-hmm. um but in saying that for the hands that i opened i think i played them relatively well um the only game that like had a hard brick i would say was against luke um he like draw phase um old more me and all my hand was like the only real card i could play was a luri and like um i didn't in my head i was like i don't want to give him the draw should have given him the draw because it would have been a draw and i could have at least set up some disruption um instead i thrusted for a dimensional barrier uh and then set a black goat last that i had also opened um and passed the turn and the drytron has just put up ak damage very easy yeah to kind of slap some dudes on the board and Big off dudes. we go. Yeah, no one, no one can really explain how they do it. Science might find a way one day to say how they get game. But ben, they... ben could. He knows every Drytron effect. We keep goading him into speaking on the podcast <laughs> and nothing is going to happen. <laughs> uh, and then in Master Duel, uh, still playing Hawkist, still enjoying it quite a bit. Um, it's just, it catches people off guard. Sometimes. No one's ready for August. Well, think. August, like, people understand, oh, yeah, get the stuff out of the graveyard so that you can't get pluses off it. Um, the thing that most people don't see coming is the secret effective Gisu to make it a tuna, and then all of a sudden there's a Baron on the board because I'm also playing Bestials. Also, I, I wouldn't know. 
because um, quick oh, yeah. uh, Hawker's tutorial for you. Um, so if you've opened the Imseti line, um, you like set up your king side, get your two rank gates, pop them on the board, detach, summon. If you've got a way to a bestial and to get the Gearsu, then you can do both. Um, like you get it so that um, your zombie vampire and your king sark are setting up the column. You have, yeah. to, have uh, a you have to have a mech knight line. Head. Yeah. Because <laughs> Gearsu only becomes a tuner when it's in a mech knight line. Sure. Mm -hmm. So you need oh, to have yeah. a spell and the extra deck monster in the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need two between... other cards in the same column oh, and okay. as him when he does his foolish burial effect. Sure. Yep. So yeah. And it's either you make Baron or you make um, Dispater. So either or either is fine. Oh my god, what a decision. <laughs> Do you play Chaos Angel? No, I don't ever okay. play Chaos Angel. I yeah, would, but I, I can't. At the moment, I'm loving Chaos. I finally have a copy because I bought the Megatin version. I'd like to get oh. an ulti at some point, but it's not a priority. But I've got the Priz Secret for the meantime. I haven't even thought about Chaos Angel and bloody Master Jewel. Oh, it's it, so... Yeah, if you're playing a Chaos deck, it's just so free. Yeah, and I, I just haven't thought to make it yet because it hasn't come up. Probably should, though. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's where I'm at. Um, so, yeah, tomorrow make some tweaks and things. Kurt, how was your week? I think I, I talked about last Sunday. Uh, Tuesday, went back in with Centurion and I put Bistials into it, which I have pretty much found the version I love. Bistials and Centurion, just being able to go into Chaos Angel off, off turn is stupid. Um, how did I go Tuesday? Oh, Tuesday was a two round locals. Yeah, yeah. yeah cause so quick... the game against Ethan uh, was. Labyrinth, he deburied me about four times. <laughs> I ended up winning in time. Uh, not because of just slight hit. I hit him quite a bit in game three, and he just couldn't get any damage on me. Game round two versus Harry, and he was playing Rescue Ace Snake Eye Fire King. Yep. I don't know if it's Snake Eye Snake Eye, but it's Rescue Ace Fire... Uh, no, not Fire King. Rescue Ace... Snake Eye. Snake Eye, yeah. That went to time. And we both drew, which then made the locals just be a two-round locals with, I think, Ben yeah, winning. Another Kurt Harry draw situation has fucked another tournament. <laughs> I need to put Gaga Guard Cowboy in my deck. What is place Spooky Dog? I already do. That's a good reminder. I, I play Spooky Dog Wood and I couldn't draw into it. But Gaga Guard Cowboy would have won me the game. Yep. I had that in Master Duel. I'm playing Scraps at the moment. Oh, and <clears throat> Why are you yeah. playing it in Master Duel? Because I don't want to build anything else until that deck comes out. <laughs> uh, and yeah, I had 7900 like 7, with two level fours on board. I'm like, why the hell aren't I running Cowboy? Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of what we're meant to do here. <laughs> nah. Um, today, uh, pre-release of Rage of the Abyss, I had end up buying a case. I'll talk about that a little bit later, um, but for today's... Oh, talk about now. oh, yeah, I'm just saying how I went. Okay. Today, uh, I thought it was going to be draft format, which Sealed. ended up not being, and my deck wasn't ready. Um, versus Lucas in round one, he ended up just seeing every piece that he needed with Cash Terror. And then versus Jake in round two. Uh, game one... Baited all, he baited all my hand traps to then just activate grass and goes full combo everything again. Game two, I set up my board. He goes through every combo. And then I keep the ash for the last interaction and stop his other grass that he drew in his 57 card deck. I was so upset. <laughs> <laughs> I was so upset. <laughs> and then in game three, I mistakenly did not ash his card destruction. But then it gave me Nib Effect Veiler Ogre, which then he was still able to play through. I Effect Veiler his Toad, so then I nibbed him. He then just got into Moon and go Fiendsmith combo, which stopped me because I didn't have a card starter. No, you didn't. You had an evenly matched. I had an evenly matched with your Desiree ready to negate it, and I was yeah. like, yeah, I can't really do much here. He drew Gargoyle, which is a brick. But anyway, I left after that because I just didn't want to play anymore. And because you had your case I opening. had my case, yes. Uh, so he'll give you a recap at this point, but the uh, box 
openings are on Nolan TCG if you wish to rewatch. Um, the case was overall decent, and the very first box was the very best pull. I ended up pulling a QC Amalchami, which I was very happy, very excited. But for the next 10 boxes, I only pulled one Deception. Mm -hmm. And pretty much like three of every other secret besides the Charmy. And lovely load. But in the last two boxes, I ended up getting one Charmy in each box. So He's got, he's got a playset of Charmy. Secured my playset. Not, not in rarity match though. Yes. Did, did you mean lordly load? Yeah. Okay. He said, well, say, he he said, said oh, lovely load. He said lovely load. Yeah. Like, mm, okay. Lovely load. No. <laughs> Whatever. I don't care what the card is. I'm happy I've got my play set of Charmies. Um, ended up, so my, I got three QCRs in the case. Uh, I got the Centurion one, which I'm very happy because it's the deck I'm playing at the moment. And then I got the Mermail Woman. I don't know. Mermail. 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 Uh, yeah. Which, eh, whatever. I got a, I got a Charmy. I can't be any more disappointed. But yeah, that's can't be any pretty more. much my week. Yeah. Go get the other QCR. Place it at QCR time. Uh, I'm not spending another 1400 But then you sell the two Charmies that you have and it's only a yeah. thousand. Yeah. Nah. Just rob, I will sell the QCR, <laughs> have money extra, and buy the third. <laughs> I mean, chances are Tom will want to buy whatever deck you From the same box is so, sh like, it's the most Tom shit Well, ever. actually, the question is... It really is, is the most Tom shit, isn't it? The question is, can I work out with Tom where I give him my two? Probably. Eventually do a trade there, get the third QCR. Look, Tom's Maybe. a negotiating man, but also he might have already sold it by now. That is true. That is true. It has been online. But it seems relatively common. I don't know yeah. if it's just that no one, like, because people have pulled a QCR that they have no interest in just the one yeah. and see it as, like, this one card equals three. Oh, it's, the gold, it's a golden ticket. Like. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, move, move, move. Nice. Yeah. Tastes good. He's set for Thank YCS. Yeah. Well, it might get hit by them. It might get hit. I don't think they're hitting a more charming between now and YCS. Uh, There's yeah. going to be one band list. Might be reprinted between now and YCS. Yeah, they'll want to get some Imagine they out. reprint it in Bonanza. That'd be amazing. I would... That would be... That would I would be like, so in on Bonanza if they reprinted it. That would be, like, even worse than Dark Destroyer. They, I mean, one thing I will say is that, at the very least, it's going to get reprinted in next year's tins. Yes. So it's that's so something... Away. It is still far away, but... It is at least something to look forward to. Because I can't remember at the time, did they reprint Ash in the tins? Yes. Ash Blossom? Yeah. Yeah, because the 2022 was, was, tins. No, we're, talk, like, we're talking like the first the year of Ash. The original tins. Oh, sorry. Like the original okay. time frame. I can't remember if it did. I don't think it did. God. I think 2022. That's a no. Were the no. only tin reprints. Yeah, wasn't it only... Well, didn't they put in the pack, not ben the tins? They, they, put in that, they did the short print action. super version of it. So I guess there is that to consider as well. That they, Although I say they uh, will put it in the tin, there's every chance they don't put it oh, in yeah, the tin. Oh, yeah, no, it's it's it all depends on if I buy it or not. <laughs> well, okay, your sentence to not having it, so the rest of us can have it in the tins. Well, it's also... You look back at right. last year's tins, I think they missed out on tier and Sprite, didn't yeah. they? Yeah, yeah. But that was... was that? Yeah, well, that's because they were following the old release thing of like, oh, it's, it was in the January... Like, not January, in the February pack, so we can't print this stuff here. And then they didn't. And then they and now Snake Eyes has pretty much thrown that out the window, right? We have not had tier element reprints. No. Not no, once. Well, other, no, than no. The, other than the field T spell. Cash and the field spells. Yeah. But arguably... You we could have, argue that those are like the more necessary ones. There's probably enough of the rest of them going around. That it's I like, guess yeah, they okay. did get an OTS super reprint, but like... Yeah. Hope we get QCR Shiren in Bonanza. That'd be cool. Useless, QCR cool. each one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just go Besides for it. Rhino, because Rhino has an ulti. Yeah, I mean, Rhino's... Can't fuse with Rhino. I, actually, I, you know what? Well, you can. <laughs> <laughs> Give a QCR of each of the boss monsters. So, like, Kaleido, the Manadium one. Well, they can't do a Rice Heart, but just for that lore to finish what the planets did, give a QCR oh, yeah, each yeah, boss yeah, monster. Yeah. 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 I mean, you... Rukulos got one. Yeah, but that's not the boss monster. That's just Kikolos, mummy. 
<laughs> Moving on. Uh, so. <laughs> No. <laughs> so, uh, last week we had the conclusion of YCS Lul. Uh, so I have the top 32 breakdown here. We have 34% Fiend Smith Ubel, uh, 16% Tempai, uh, 9% in Runic and Chimera, mm-hmm. uh, 6% Lab, 6% Ritual Beast, and 19% Other. Um, I think at least one or two of those was uh, Pearly. Uh, as for the rest of it, I cannot recall. There was two White Forest Runics, I think. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, I imagine those were in the Runics, yeah? Oh, sorry, did you say Runics? Yeah. Yeah, 9%. My bad. Uh, yeah, how about that? Yeah, Why YCS was... without Snake Eyes? We're never going to see it again this year. You don't I... reckon? Even with the um, Azamina stuff coming? That's what I'm referencing. That This is the only, yeah. time. Oh, this is sure. the only one we're going to have a break. Okay, I misunderstood. Yeah, kind I, of a useless I tournament. turned off the stream after like top eight. There was also a yeah. YCS Chile, which I had no idea was happening. Chi, chi, le, le. Because they put Rika on cam and I was just like, oh, yeah. I'm too bored to watch this whole God I damn go Just for him to win time again. Like, I know plants. Can we just... It's almost the other way. Like I don't like. I get that they see. Oh, plant deck. Let's feature on stream because it's hard. It's like no, we're we're sick. Like we are now sick of this. Just give us a Yubel mirror, please. Like mm. if you have Rebel. to put a plant what? match up on the stream when it becomes their turn, just cut to guess a card until they've set up their, <laughs> until they've set up their board. It's guess more. Which card it's more bring entertaining. Out next. <laughs> it's more entertaining to watch guess a card than it is to watch Rika tribute a bunch of shit. It's so boring. Yeah, it was pretty ass. Goddamn Europe. As much as it was sad to hear, when Jess had announced that she wasn't going to be participating in like high level stuff anymore, you I kind of hoped yeah. that like the deck would fall off. <laughs> we'll never see it again. <laughs> that no. because she wasn't there to innovate and like progress no. the community, the people would just like progress over. The to seed has else. been planted, no. as it were. Yes. And now it will overrun Europe. Yeah. And it's only going to get worse with the um, the lovely load, as some people call it. Mm. Yeah, um, because now, stuff. now the vanilla effectively has like nine copies in the deck. Yeah. Let's get some more American streams, please. <laughs> the Americans want to touch that shit. Yeah, the Americans don't like that. I love that. I, what a game we have. That The Chimera stuff is cool. I, I, I appreciate the, the jewels that went, oh, well... Snake Eyes sucks at the deck for this tournament. Oh, Fiendsmith works completely fine in this, which it does. <laughs> I might be about to. Remy, nah. Remy's in your pantry. Hey, Ratatouille! Ratatouille! <laughs> uh, yeah. Props to the Chimera players, even though we're not going to see that deck again for a little bit. Oh, As Amina yeah, goes with it. Yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah, but not as well as Snake Eyes. Doesn't matter. I mean, I'd, by that logic, no one's going to play anything else because nothing I'd, can be as good so as So the problem is, is that... I guess the branded people are moving to it as well. Yes. Branded people are yeah. moving to... Branded Chimera. Fusion at one? I need more Fusion cards. Yeah. Then you got... As a Mina is... Yes, it's a one-card starter for Snake Eye. Hmm. But you still Plus only have one card, Poplar okay. and one Ash. Mm-hmm. Like, you still have the still same problem. Need. Well, Max, you know, one Poplar is pretty rough. One Ash is fine. You st- they still have the same problem. So the thing is, they're going to have to get Azamina, Fire King, Snake Eye, which then Fire King has bricks. We've so got does three Azamina. Wardens still. We're fine. I know. I'm just. Well, you're fine. I'm. I'm. I. I'm so far away from that deck now. Shift to deck. Shift to deck. Shift to deck. Ah, uh, yeah. I was about putting Horus in it, and then I'm like, oh wait, that's right. I've got Shifter. <laughs> just activate that and then get rid of the yeah. stuff. Yeah. Don't do both. I'm looking forward to a time frame where I can, like, when Malice is out, and I can flick between playing a shifter deck and a non-shifter deck. <laughs> yeah. Just to keep people on their toes. Um, Will Jake be added by shifter today? No, we won't. I'm pretty curious to see how, because no one's keen on, I don't, I've even, R- Raziel? Raziel, uh, and that's been doing There's one person. Quite one, yeah, like, I've heard, all, most of us are keen for the not good mm-hmm. deck. Well, I think Malice is still okay. Oh, yeah, Malice is great. I just think... So, there's a couple things with that, right? Is... Malice is interesting. Yeah. Raziel is just an Xyz deck. Mm. And I feel like Xyz decks have been somewhat... 
polluted is probably not the right word, but like in your mind, because you're always referring to other decks that are Xyz decks, it's either not exciting enough or it can't be as good as the best Xyz deck we've ever had, which is Zodiac. And we still don't have a Zodiac because Dryden came back for like a cameo in Tri Brigade format and then they fucked it off again. So I f there is potential that Raziel will do quite well and like the OCG has shown that it can do quite well. But part of that as well is that Raziel plays really well under Maxi mm. and or the... Um, Both of them? Yeah, the other New ones. Yeah. So whereas like um, Malice doesn't. Because it's special summons a lot. Because it has to, it, like a Cyburst deck, it has to special summon a lot. So that is a difference that we could see between the TCG and OCG, similar to how Sprite did better uh, in the OCG Thank at first you. than Tier yeah. Elder did. Mm. Similar to how Unchained did nothing in the OCG and here it was a Tier 1 deck. We'll see. We tier shall see. Zero. Master Jewel? I miss Unchained. Uh, yeah, just quickly with Master Duel, not much going on. As you said, they may be holding off on a lot of updates because of the hype around Duel Links at the moment. Uh, but they have added two new assets for us this week. Uh, the Call by the Grave icon. I like these. And the Call by the Grave icon surround, which is a deluxe yeah. icon. Uh, so the little wavy things will do their thing. I I'm, so te I I'm tempted to shift from the... Cherry Blossoms. Roll but. the tape where we said that it never changed from Bash Blossom. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't know it was going to look this good. I knew it was going to look alright, but looking at last night, I'm like, that's it does, tempting. It, does, it, it is a tempting gem good. purchase. It we'll see how many Mahjong pieces I acquire from my gems before I then... If I have less than 700 left... We are about due for another solo mode as well, so that's potentially another 200 gems. It is 60 gems. It is quite cheap. It oh. is very cheap. Oh, I don't know why I thought it was 600. No. no, 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 no. 60. Oh, 60. So oh, okay, fine. The I'll icons do that. and the icon surrounds are always fantastically cheap. It's You're probably thinking of a mate. No, uh, oh, no, had, no. I was looking at that, but also I was. Grave mate, mm -hmm. I just wanted to, like, just be a mound of dirt, and then when you press it, it just, just goes. <laughs> <laughs> I always think of the hand in the Zelda toilet. What? When I look at that. <laughs> what did you just say? Did you say Zelda toilet? Yeah. Okay. Gotta give him the title, dude. Spoilers. Uh, moving on, we have some announcements for Supreme Darkness. Oh, um, for whatever reason, this time around when they're announcing this set, they've decided to announce the generic kind of <laughs> Fill borderline up. pack filler stuff first. So the first one that we got this week yeah. is Tempura of Chance. Which has uh, nothing to do with Gunkin, right? No. So it's a level 3 fire, aqua. So the level's wrong. But everything else is looking right because it's also a vanilla. But it does, it is a pendulum and has the pendulum effect. What's the pendulum um, number? Eight. So uh, you can target one card in your pendulum zone, toss a coin, and if the result is heads, special summon the card. Or if the result is tails, destroy it. And if you do, you lose life points equal to its pendulum scale times 300. That's great. Wait, are the special or destroy? There's heaps of pendulum cards you can make that work with. This card's great. No. The card is awful. Imagine if we had there, this in Magicians. An argument if you could be made heads. An six years ago. <laughs> an argument could be made if it was level four yeah. that you might play it. But the fact that it's level three just makes it so... Level four. Level three, what, level three, fire, aqua, aqua, aqua. Level three, aqua. Not even level two, aqua. Can't like, why? Why is it aqua? It's tempura. Because it's fish. Yeah, it's cooked fish. So the aqua acts as the fish, and the fire acts as. Yeah, yeah. It's, so the fire's the seary bit. Yeah, sure, <laughs> sure, 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 sure. Yes. I feel uh, like it should be water attribute pyro. I feel like it should have been better. This is awful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> terrible, <laughs> terrible Jake, card. Jake, Jake don't like it. It's just, like, why are we getting this now? No, I don't know. Why, why do we need to know about I this right now? I don't even know what's going like, on. Like, I have looked tempura. at the so far release cards. There's a lot of blank space. There's whole ass archetypes that need to be announced, and they're giving us tempura of chance. Yep. Fuck off. Useless to me. Other generic cards that have yeah, also been Yeah, more junk. <laughs> Although, they <laughs> say <laughs> generic. They just didn't want to name them for the archetypes that they're yeah. clearly supposed to support. Yeah. So, uh, there's a uh, sea serpent, which I couldn't give a fuck about. I I've got to look into 
what the aim of this card is meant to be. So it's like meant to be like the anti all of it's because it's dark, yeah, dark sea serpent. It is a yeah. Dark. So I feel like those are the three. I, I, it's gonna be it's gonna tie into it pretty well, but also since it's not named, it is not good. Yeah, um, like the the other thing they could have done is just make it another. Um, I, I was gonna say Levia, that's not it. Levi- Leviathan? I mean, Le- I mean Le- Leviathan's already in the other archetype, so making that a Leviathan would be wrong. Yeah, but anyway, this card's bad, so I'm not going to read it. Um, we've got Template Skipper. Uh, so this is Cyburst, meant for yeah. Malice, but not named Malice. Uh, special summon this card from your hand level to his own a Cyburst link points to, points to points to. It is a level 1 Dark Cyburst, zero attack and defense. Uh, during your main phase, banish one Cybers monster from your hand or graveyard, and if you do, when you link summon this turn, you can treat this card as link material with the same name as the banished monster. So cool. So it, uh, it's cool. It, it basically treats itself as a malice and then banishes another malice to get your combo going. So are these three cards for all archetypes and mm-hmm. crossover breakers? Yes. Yes. Okay, They're just so not named as okay, such. So that's sea serpents for the... Yeah, yeah. Sea yeah, serpents a, for the bad one. The Pokemon kind of stuff. Yeah, the Rayquaza, but not Rayquaza. Oh, hello. <laughs> Breaking the been, fourth wall. Um, been then, hearing noises, it just turns out Seb's here. Yeah, but Seb wasn't in the pantry. He wasn't been. he? He, he could have been. He wasn't, though, was he? Anyway, the last of these generic cards. Twins of the Eclipse. Uh, so, two level four monsters. For this card's Xyz summon, you can treat rank four monsters you control as level four monsters for material. And you can only use the okay. second effect yeah. once per turn. Detach material from this card. This card can make up to two attacks uh, on monsters during each battle phase this turn. On oh, monsters? Yeah. If this card sends a graveyard, target two other rank four or lower Xyz in your graveyard. Special summon one. And if you do, attach the other to it as material. Mm. Send to the graveyard just just from anywhere. Yeah. 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 So even if you detach as material. Restrictions. Pff, who needs those? Detach it, as, uh, detach it from... Um, Zeus. Okay, like deep barriers. Link it to mm. something bad because you've bricked. I don't know how that would happen if you're in that position. But well, if, like, if you detach it with Zeus and then bring back Dweller and something, that'd be pretty funny. That'd be fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. Um, and then, for a brief moment, we were concerned that we weren't going to be getting this as a actual uh, mm. singular product, instead split up against other stuff that we'd have to then buy. But, good news for the TCG, we have the announcement for the Blue Eyes Structure Deck, White Destiny. Uh, so it's going to be releasing on February 7th, so it's going to be live for yeah. our YCS, pending any changes. Um, <laughs> and so far, we haven't got the full announcement. Wait, live on know- the 7th? Hmm? That's weird. Yeah, keep going, keep going. Um, so we know that it's going to be 50 cards in there, but we don't know what those cards are. 50? Um, but to oh. for the first time for the TCG to celebrate the 25th anniversary, a limited number of decks will include one of three special quarter century secret rare cards, offering an extra layer of collectible shine to your pool. Oh, it's one of three. One of yeah. three. Okay, so it'll so just be the Xyz, the Link, and the Synchro. More than likely. Mm. So and if you then, get the Xyz, you'll be very upset. Yeah. Hopefully, it's guaranteed one per structure deck. Well, a doesn't... limited number of decks. They're, we're buying our structure decks, I need, boys. I need the synchro. Yeah. That's all I need. You need to let some glitter go from your life. No! Not everything can be QCR. You'll be a lot happier <laughs> if you just let go a little. You better get a, a common mole charming from this, too. Oh, yeah, like we're going to get a fucking <laughs> common mole charming. <laughs> Just saying. Do you, know how, do you know how fair that would make the YCS if everyone who bought three of these structure decks also gets the no, best I'm talking, I'm talking the other Mulchami, not the new one. Yeah, oh, I mean, I'm, I'm still taking it. I still don't have a place out of the bad one. Well, I mean, you only need one now. Well. No, in tier, you, um, it can be a piece. So you can still play it. Oh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, it's aqua. Aqua. Yeah, they've got to cut Maxi for something. Also, they only said one effect, Vela. So in one of the... like. One, oh, in the OCG, they got two. Yeah, they said one of the tweets from. I think it's, it wasn't the English account. It was a different one. Said there's going to be three of the sage, and then listed the other hand traps that we know. So Ash and stuff is still it's in there. Ash new imperm effect by the right. Yeah, yeah, but they didn't say how many of each, which is interesting. That's such a good structure deck to start with. Yeah, oh, this will be a very good deck. 
If, yeah. you're, if you're trying to get into Yu-Gi-Oh, this structure thing is probably a very good one to get into. It is, it's just always going to be Blue Eyes, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Which is fine. Well, maybe what? I'll play a Blue Eyes for a YCS again. One of these days, Dark Magician needs some love. Well, they, they, they could use the blue, I mean, Loss has been using the Blue Eyes Link. Yeah, I know, but it's like, only because of this small sliver of um, interactivity. Of because it's like, <laughs> oh, you can use a level 4 or lower spellcaster. Mm. Oh, Link 1. Yeah. Get, get my great. rod off the field. <laughs> get my rod off. Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's coming out just before Weiss, yes. So if Blue Eyes has any potential for meta relevancy, uh, this would be the time. I'm, te I'm tempted to run it back. Oh, with the dra and the Dragon Rules are back too. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Blue Eyes Dragon the, Rules? The, yeah, like I did for my first YCS. What's that trap? Um, this is super agent organism. Is it both fields cannot have level correct. six? Or, okay, I can't use it. You can there. have them. You just can't activate their effects or attack. Use that today. You can't activate. <laughs> Neither player can activate the effects of level 6 or higher monsters or attack with level 6 or higher monsters. Uh, there's still attacks. No. That's not good for me. Yeah, no, you can't sit there with your blue eyes having your no, opponent no, skill drain. blue and... eyes. I want to sit there with my level 12. <laughs> <laughs> you can't... God knows what you're going to do if they ever ban this deck. You'll be emotionally know. and financially... I... I'll be gone. Corrupted, like yeah. just completely gone. Mm -hmm. Then I'll. I've realized. I've on. realized why I like the deck. Whammon. No, interaction on the op opponent's turn. Like mm. my hand traps, bro. That's my problem. Is that I don't. I in other decks that I play, I don't. But the reason why I love this deck so much is because I get to interact with the board while you're doing your combo. Play alter guys. Oh yeah, interactive. <laughs> but anyway, God. yeah. I'm so glad that deck never popped off and it got a support. I fucking hate it. I hate it so much. It's just worse than Mangrove. At this point. I mean, yeah, at this point. Um, just quickly as well, just before... Um, well, actually, two more oh, pieces that. of news. Um, so we got some more information about the quarter century of Bundayalza. Um, so, um, they released a little press thingy. Um, so, we know that we're getting an alternate art of House Dragon, Dragon Man. Man. Mm. Uh, it looks really bad. Um, no reaction. Yeah, no, he, he knows what it looks like. Um, <laughs> looks like we're getting a Platinum Secret of uh, Super Poly. Yeah, as seen in here. the Rarity Collection 2. So we're getting I'm honestly secret. surprised we don't have an alternate art of Promethean. Uh, pr yeah, so Prismatic Style Ultimate Rares um, with Prometheum, which, we, again, we already knew. There you go. Uh, Prismatic Style Collector's Rares, um, Highlighter for Diablo Star. And then for the cards that will be in their 200 card slot, we know three now, which will be Dark Paladin. Uh, not the good Dark Paladin either. Is that not the what good one? What do you one? mean? No, that's, I like the other one. That's original, is it not? I prefer the other one. Oh, okay. I like that one. I'll have to double check. I can't remember what the other art looks like. Um... And then until hero body, right? flame wingman. No, no, it's only his um, mid, like his mid shot upper half. And mm. drill warrior. Yeah, drill warrior. <laughs> everyone hated it, and then we realised it was good for us. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, like I saw as soon as I saw that, go well, cool. We're doing it and stuff. I was gonna say, if you have a two hundred pool legacy of QCR, surely you're just gonna cater to your time wizard format. Surely. I'm... Yeah, no, I prefer the other one. I like that one. Yeah. That was the one I grew up with. That's the one I grew up with. I'm sorry. Then, good for you. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Very good for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> There's an old dog with his dark paladin. I'm hoping they reprint Monarchs. Yeah, we we need QCRs of all QCR the Monarchs. QCR Monarchs would be very all good. All of them. Every single one. Every Even single Delg. One. <laughs> Who the fuck is Delg? <laughs> that saves me fucking out of money. Is that the first one? <laughs> the no, old dog. Huh? Dark. Grandmark's the Earth one. How dare you? Wait. Yes. There's two Dark Monarchs? Yes. Yes. Damn, even in those days they loved Dark Oak. No, no, Del was no, like, Del was way after. There's two of every single one, right? Hmm? I could not tell you any more water ones than Mobius. Ah, uh, maybe not the water one then. Because. Because. Because I know Flanderese played the water one. 
Karaz and Zaborg. So there's two lights, two darks. Karaz. Mm-hmm. Bless. Oh, there are, yeah. Okay, thematically it makes sense. Okay. Yep, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Um, and then literally just before we started this podcast, I noticed that there's a new uh, bit of support coming yeah. out for a uh, briefly um, mentioned archetype. Yeah. Being Materia Actor. Yeah. So uh, for the ones that know, uh, Materia Actor was like a two card bit of archetype that was announced. Oh, would have been, I think, just before. Just before the Battles of Legend with the last QCRs, like it was like a good year and a half, two years ago, um, it was just a level three that summoned itself in an, a vanilla and then a rank three that didn't do much of anything. So it was kind of forgettable at the time, but it has now been expanded upon in Supreme Darkness. Um, basically, it's all rank three slash level three monsters that all revolve around having normals in play yep. so potentially could work in with the new uh lovely load um or just vanillas oh it's a tcg exclusive yeah yeah yeah. so the ocg have decided no we're going to finish what you started again St- still not great oh okay so they haven't double helixed it no 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 um like it's not oh awful. my god it's, keep getting worse. it's just not great yeah at first, I thought I was going to read through them all, and I've decided I'm not. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I wasn't even going to mention these to you. I was just, just like, yeah, no, at least we got no, we're, something. We're doing our of, due diligence. Yeah, just giving the people. I was about to if say, you ever want us to, pop, if you, pop, 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 if you <laughs> ever want us to elaborate, uh, questions in the YouTube description or yeah. wherever else we get our questions. Where do we get them? We get them from our Discord, if you went aware, the link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us some questions, Maybe such as 6 r 6 has. Yeah. Um, his first question this week is, what is your favourite breakfast dish slash meal? Oh, I mean, leftover pasta is number one. <laughs> <laughs> this like, is if a problem. I'm lie. I don't have breakfast. Yeah. That makes sense. I am not usually having breakfast. My usual breakfast is coffee. Yeah. But <laughs> I could tell you all my worst breakfasts. I mean, that's not the Sitting question. Sitting right there. Oh. Sure. <laughs> I mean, that, that is also Bragg's breakfast. To be fair. <laughs> oh, yeah. Not anymore. Not anymore. No? You haven't picked up on this? No. I haven't. Have no. you been a healthy boy? You haven't had them in like four months. Oh, my God. That's why I'm like, I'm the fucking G fuel. Ah. It's, I, the, so, it's the sodium. <laughs> Ah, uh, I see. Yeah. Okay. That's how old I am, boy. I'm wearing on my heart. <laughs> <laughs> um, when and if I do have breakfast, my favourite thing to have, because it'll generally be at a restaurant, is um, New York pancakes. So basically pancakes with bacon and maple syrup. Uh, anything I'm gluten? not concerned about my I'm heart. A sweet I'm pancake. about to die. Um, I had pancakes this morning, actually, but there was no bacon. I was about this to make morning. pancakes. But then, yeah. Why didn't you bring any? Fuck you! <laughs> we could we could make pancakes now and Poor take fucking them. Fucking QCR charming, and you're like, I want you pancakes too. Go fuck yourself. We can make, if you want pancakes, we can make pancakes. I'll I'll trade you. I'll bring you pancakes nah. in exchange for your QCR. Nah. That's right. Unless you make seven hundred dollars worth of pancakes, maybe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, firstly, <laughs> here we go. We're going to go to Pancake Parlor at peak time <laughs> and order six servings of mid. <laughs> <laughs> and that'll get you $700. Uh, yeah. I've got a cereal. A little oat bars and a yogi. Oh, the yo- uh, the yo pros. Look. I've been onto them. I'll have like a little I have like a little oat bar and then have it with some yogurt. Just like plain ass yogurt? Or did you get like the... No, um, no, no. Oh, no, the little... um The little... Fuck, what do you... Not satchels. Um, tub. No, fuck. I can't. I'm not. I'm not. I don't fuck with tubs. Um, <laughs> no pouches. The, the yoga pouches. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah, sure. yeah. So See, it's just, I only have those when I'm about to drink. I like how collectively a bunch of us have gone. Let's revert to toddler, and just have yogi pouches about. <laughs> 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 we never had yoga pouches when I was there. Like it's. I'm glad um, uh, enough of us are out there that I. I'll just fuck with it. Spoons? And, no. Because it takes me forever as well. So like I'll have the oat bar a little bit and then I'll just put it in, like I'll take it down the car as I'm driving to work and be like... So well, rather than like prepping your coffee of the morning and drinking coffee like you don't have to you clean know, anything. adults, you're just sitting there with your My little, little yogi, yogi pouch, pouch. In, the, in the traffic. <laughs> yeah. You can't be off your bastard! 
this has happened, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but as well, and just mm. bracing my teeth, going. Woo, woo, woo. Mm. <laughs> Yoko pouch in my head, flipping the bird in the other. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that is phenomenal. Um, his next question, 6 i 6 I should say. Uh, what moment in your Yu-Gi-Oh career is your favourite, i.e. Uh, completing a deck in a certain rarity, uh, best placement in a tourney, or chasing down some obscure cards for a collection? Oh, God, I should have pre-read these. should have pre-read these. Come on, you're young. You should be able to remember before me. Oh, I know what mine is. I was just oh, uh, mine would be... Topping our states. Yes, that was the last chance you had, right? Uh, or am I no, thinking, no, wrong states. But yes, I did. So that would have been one of them. Uh, my first time, my first year actually playing UGI, uh, the last chance I could ever get my invite for Oceans, I ended up topping 32 to get my invite for that. That was good. But my one that I really liked was uh, sta same states. But I ended up top 16 in it with Centurion. Surprise. But yeah, it wasn't... Back then we did have King Calamity, which made it a lot easier. But I really enjoyed the deck and topping it was pretty good. Mm. First ever top top. First of many. Top, top. Hopefully. Ah, I forgot. Double Hopefully. Cowboy to win this fucker. Oh, oh yeah. uh, for audio listeners, the Dark Rebellion, Axios Dragon. Yes, he got what he wanted. Trample Enix, bounce, <laughs> bounce. And yeah, two Cowboys in the extra and Cleese. That was the play in 2014. Nearly 10 years. Yeah, is that what this whole thing is about? Uh, the channel name? Eh, lightly. Okay. Because I've, I've just never known. No, well, I mean, kind of. Not really. Little. There was many, there was many team names before this one. There's been a few. I've only known the one. Cyber Falcon 420. <laughs> um, mine. Oh Christ. Um, mine was. Um, this was a, a little while ago now, and I wish they kind of still did it. Uh, when I uh, competed in the GG. Mm. Uh, Championships. I can't remember what it was called. I'm sure it was called something else, but that's about what it was. Yeah. Super Series, G -G 5K. No, so, for a very brief time, literally twice, I think, um, GG's ran, like, their own sort of separate tournament series, separate to, like, YCSs and regionals and stuff. Oh, and okay. If you won at store level, you went to the States one. If you won the States one, you went to the National one. Um, so, I, I think I came second at the store level. And then I came third at state level. Yep. Um, and because of that, I went to the national one. The national one was held in Melbourne that year, and it was held in PAX. So I got a two-day pass to PAX. I got oh. flights, accommodation, all paid for. Sick. Um, and then because my brain is dumb, um, I came fourth at states, uh, at nationals rather. I'm guessing you didn't do something correctly. Is that why you're um, calling yourself dumb? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, okay. I got into my head too much in like the deciding match as to whether I was in top three or not. Um, but like still a phenomenal experience, still very happy with how I did. Um, yeah, I wish they had that series back, but unfortunately Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, for anyone other than Konami is not profitable. So they don't, <laughs> they don't run it anymore. That's true. Makes me very sad. Yeah. Uh, next question is from a new listener, Reckless Red, or Rezkless Red? Sure. Um, what is your best or most recent comeback slash turnaround to win a match? Uh, I mean, it's definitely not recent, but a number of years ago, I had someone set up a pretty, a pretty intimidating board with, I'm going to say Black Wings, but there's a few negates, and there's like, there's a little bit there, and with arms crossed goes... Love to see how you get over this. Oh. <laughs> and yeah, completely dismantled push for OTK. That was... You love that. When people are like... You can't pull that shit with Blackwing. Uh, mm. <laughs> it's like you don't have the complete recursion. Like you have three negates there and uh, like a, a one towers. That's not enough. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, um, mine would be um, against a uh, friend of the podcast, Michael Duke. Michael Angel Duke. Oh, yeah. Um, so I was versing him at Nationals in, I think it was 2018. Um, maybe 2019. I can't remember what year it was. Um, but anyway, he set up a um, Sky Striking board with Mystic Mind, my favourite. Um, I was playing Pendulum Orchest. Um, and I'd had to pass a few turns because I was like building up to like try and play without the Mystic Mind on the board. Because like he just had, I think it was a Kina and the Mystic Mind. So he was the one under the Mystic Mind lock at the time. So I was like trying to see if like I could get a, a board wipe or something just so that I can play through. Um, and I'm going to see if I can remember this as best I can. But I think like he was activating um, Sky Striker spells as well so that he was up on life. So yeah. I was like getting towards the end of the game as well. Like I think we literally had minutes. Um, I think what I ended up was um, and got um, Dragon Oath. I think it was the level eight one. Yeah, let's go with eight. I think it is. Might be seven. One of the the vanilla one anyway. Oh, I'm thinking of so, a different Oath then. Yep, kick on. So anyway. Um, Oh, it's one of the two. There's like two vanilla ones. Uh, one's the level four Earth, which was like early days of Pendulum. You used uh, Rescue Rabbit to summon the two of them to yeah. get to Electromine. But I'm thinking of the other one. Anyway, I put that one in the scale because its effect is when you have another magician in your scale, you can discard a card to pop a spell and trap. So I do that. Pop the um, Mystic Mind by sending a Dark Worm. Yep. I special, oh, yeah. I special the Dark Worm, search a scale. Normal summon Denko Seca. So all the Sky Striker spells are offline. Denko Seca. Combo, 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 borrow sword, punch some things, set up a negate, and then one with like literal seconds. I think I got into the battle phase just before time was called. Nice. So that was my crowning moment. And to this day, I still haven't lost against Michael Duke. Yay! Fine to be very good because he is an excellent Even player. in tag matches? Uh, I don't know if I've ever actually versed them in uh, tag matches. I think, like, they're always in a different, like, side of the bracket, I guess you could call it. Yeah. You had a good come from behind? <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> Answer the question, Kurt. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 don't think, I don't think I've had one. Like, I think the only thing is maybe against um, Jono at States, which I don't, it wasn't really a comeback, but it was just a game that he went first in game three and it was getting close to time. And I think he was playing Tenpai while I was playing Centurion. And then he, he just had seals and all that, but me drawing Ash for turn kind of stopped him. And then I was able to punch for game. But yeah, I haven't really had one. There's time. There's yeah. so much time. Um, 6 r 6 asks um, another question. Do you think... Wait, what do you think the is the biggest influence... I'm just reading it as it's written. Mm -hmm. What do you think the is the biggest influence driving the price of cards at the moment compared to previous formats? Is it the age of players, disposable income, fear of missing out, or something else? Rarity and lack of product. Yeah, so particularly in Australia at the moment, like, you obviously have a lot less product, but um, probably, like, per capita, more demand for that product, arguably speaking. So, like, once a set comes out, it sells out within, like, the first month Wait, of release. What other cards are overpriced in the format at the moment? Well, SP is still expensive. Engravers. Engravers is still expensive. They're not overpriced though. Engravers seem. Engravers are still one fifty. Yeah, which is by. It, I'm by happy end. to pay that, but yeah. for a lot of people out there, it's like I can't play the meta deck because I don't have that money to do that. But that seems to be situation. One fifty for engravers seems to be situation normal though. Like it's it it, it, oh, it as a card game, you probably needs to have a hard look at itself and go. Oh, we probably shouldn't be doing this, but. For the most part, it doesn't seem to be different, so I'm not sure if there's a trend we can really predict. I can tell you about Fuosa, though. It's just... It's just Max... Like, yeah, it's, it's Max C. It's, yeah, it's a new staple that most decks will need three of. It's a new staple that every other secret in the deck, besides maybe one or two, will be... We'll see Deception is probably played in the Azamina decks and Snake Eye. 
the new impulse card is played in some decks. Every other secret, oh, the Fire King secret is played in Snake Eye. Everything else is just cheap because it's not as good as those other decks. What's amazing is Storm of Ragnarok is what had Maxi and the Samurai cards in there. And here we are with a new Maxi and Samurai cards and the prices are all flipped. If not completely disparaging. I mean, they were like, oh, like yeah, Maxi were, yeah, Maxis were not uh, that expensive in the beginning. Oh, no. And the, all the Samurai cards were, oh. Back there, you didn't spend The were 50 each. Times. Shien was like 60. So with inflation, we're talking 80, 90 dollar cards there, ish. So maybe maybe prices are a little bit out of whack. I mean, also then there's demand, and as you're right, we're all getting older. Our paychecks are getting a little bigger. This has all the bills. Yeah. So many bills. Yeah. Well, that is also the thing. Is like, does bills going up make these cards cost more? Because, well, yeah, you kind of have to justify. Do I? Because you're like, spending your money to get that do product. Do I eat more than two minute noodles this week? Yeah. <laughs> Always eat the noodles. Should get some more. Yes. Oh my god, it gets worse. <laughs> Next question. Uh, Cheeseman1661 asks, Do you think old, that with the way Konami releases sets that every set should have meta warping cards, or do you think that Konami <laughs> should take a moment every so often and release a set that is just boosting other decks that already exist. Um, he says, I know that the builder, the deck builder side sets, um, yeah, side sets, but of lately they have been trash in how they have been handled with the card lists. It's the main... shit. Hmm? Falling Smashes wasn't shit. Yeah. Falling Smashes was fine. The main point of this is that the last few Just sets, fine. Uh, Info and soon to be released, uh, Rage of the Abyss, uh, both had uh, meta-defying cards in the Fiendsmith engine, Jelly Hand Trappy, although this is Flapping Hand Trappy just for clarity. Um, and, oh no, sorry, misspoke. First one had Jelly Hand Trappy, uh, now Rage of the Abyss having Flappy Hand Trappy. Um, do we think that Konami should take a step back and let the players breathe so the meta is able to define itself, or do you think it's likely going to constantly change at the rate that it is? Um, I don't it's... think power... Sorry. Um, I don't think meta-defining cards is really what... Like, for every meta-defining card, there's also then a ban list that follows it, then they make a different meta-defining card. Yeah, like, the meta is ever-evolving just by the nature of the game having a ban list as opposed to rotation. But that I, I agree to some extent that lately it has felt that, like, with every set release, the previous meta-defining package or whatever it is just progresses on. Like, there's an immediate power creep most of the time. Like, Snake Eyes has been the only constant over the last few months. The rest of it is, like, um, Unchained had its, like, brief moment in the sun. Mm -hmm. list slash meta checked it, and then it fucked off. Um, Azamina will probably go through the same thing. Uh, Fire King went through the same king thing. Like, it's only just come back in now because Snake Eyes... Actually, yeah, Fire King has a little bit. blatantly got power crept as well. Actually, I wanted that Maxi. Could Ooh, you, maybe it's going to suck Could you now. say that Rika has been the most supported deck? Besides Branded. Like, I've seen Rika more in Top Cut than what Branded has. It's purely because you have all of the, like... Plant is one of those things that just has a whole bunch of support, and until uh, Rika came along, there was nothing that really tied them all together. Okay. But now that you have stuff that can search the stuff to get you the other stuff, and like everything's interconnected, it like it just happens now. Kind of like what happened with um, Ad Emancipator and Rock Cards. There was nothing that really gave Rock Cards anything until Ad Emancipator came out, and Ad Emancipator tied all the rock support together. Yep. I just... If they do let us breathe, though, we're going to whinge about how dead the game is. Mm. Yeah, there is, like, there is no perfect thing. People will whinge that, like, oh, the cards they bought three months ago are no longer the best cards around. And then people will whinge also that um, this deck's been around for four and a half months and I'm bored. Can, please, can we have something else? Um, 
And I think to an extent as well, Master Jewel for the people that do play cross formats does compound that a little bit because it's like, oh, I've just finished up at Locals and I lost to um, Snake Eyes. Now I'm going to go home and play Master Jewel and I lost to Snake Eyes. So like you do get that double exhaustion when you're playing the both of like you're just seeing the same shit with like slight tweaks. With Master Duel, it has come, say, close to what our format is at the moment. Kind of. Yeah. Little. Kind of. They sort of pick and choose the archetypes that they want to come in first and last. Mm. And it's really weird sometimes that, like, some archetypes like Tear Element and Snake Eye will just come in full swing and they'll have everything. And others they'll just, like, randomly chunk out. Yeah. Some they just completely ignore for like the longest time. It's very bizarre. Yeah, she's but a boy. I do really like how my, I, as much as I don't like it, but I do like Master Duel being at the same thing because I can come back, play Master Duel, and Master Duel has actually kind of helped me a lot. Just knowing how a deck works. Yeah, seeing interactions is hugely helpful. Yeah. Uh, and then the last question from Jesse. Uh, what do we think of the new... Uh, structure deck for Blue Eyes having the lottery like QCR possibility. I don't think it's necessary. I don't like it. I, I, I like the idea in a vacuum of just being like just being surprised with the three decks you buy, but I'm not sure that's where this is going to go. My, okay, it, I'm sorry. I was going to say it depends on how lottery it is. Like if it's starlight level of pulling one of these things mm. you'll just have people buying out structure decks yep and selling off the, off of the the bits and pieces the, that's what they do in my schwartz because it's the exact same you get like a, a signed card in, in some structure decks and now people just like buy them all out and then sell them does the resale is the resale accessible and how much in comparison to the structure decks would the... it's not that accessible because it's my schwartz like they yeah. normally make the demand, but it's it, there is like a secondary market just for like sealed structure decks. Yeah. Like, Where it's like, oh yeah, top card, top card isn't the QCR. It's still sealed back in the bin. You my problem is the same as yours. If it's not guaranteed one in every single, which one? I don't think it'd be guaranteed. Deck. I think in an ideal world, and even this is probably still not the best, is like one per display, display case. case. That's, I that, feel like the ratios they'll be working on. still off. shit. Oh, yeah, it's phenomenally shit. Yeah. I just don't think it should happen. Like, mm. They already give us 10. They should commit to the bit, and one. every card in the every card in the, um, in the deck should be QCR. <laughs> it, should be, it should be God decks. <laughs> the, the, the thing is, it's like... Imagine that, though. Imagine, like, because the way that Texas likes to do things every so often, they just fuck up, and they print entire QCR structure decks. Imagine... Um, I don't have to imagine. They printed entire Starlight boxes. The Texans are bad at their jobs. The tins give us a guaranteed QCR each pack. So mm. I don't get why they can't give us a guaranteed QCR in each deck. Yeah. Because then we won't chase them. It's still one but of three. But the thing is, they're a structure deck. We're not supposed to be chasing cards as structure decks. Exactly. Mm. You're supposed to buy three, get what you need, other than the bits and pieces floating around, whatever, whatever. I think you buy three, you have the chance of getting one of each three even though I think the Ling ones played more one right mm-hmm. so it's like I don't know I don't like it I don't think it's necessary for structured decks like in the OCG they've got like little boosters on the side no they're in there they're in there yeah can you buy the boosters separately no no okay yeah yeah I don't think no because we they they tried it for one of our side decks and you had the you had mirror force and dark hole in the power up packs it's like you could just put this on the structured deck but <laughs> I'll take it in the power up pack, but yeah, like maybe like yeah, you have you have the structure deck release, and then you have a tournament pack that comes with the kit, and go here's some QCRs in there, hand them out as prizes or something, like go that way. Yeah, there has but, to be a better system than this because I and like as nice as this is to think oh you pick up three structure decks and you pull the yeah. QCR new synchro. I just don't think it's going to interact like that. I think it's going to be, I can't buy the structure deck anywhere. People are hocking this QCR Synchro for $325 and I now can't get the cards I want. Do you reckon they up the price of the structure deck from every so, other one? Well, they have the price on there. Uh, so the price is... Do, 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 do I still have the link open? I here? foresee I these changes uh, ending up in a lot of cards being left at bus stops. 
yep, has happened. Mm -hmm. And around targets and Walmarts everywhere. <laughs> oh just yeah, going, people it, just opening them in the fucking store. <laughs> So from what I can work out, I think they will be sitting at the same price because it's sitting at eleven ninety nine US. Yeah, that okay. sounds right. Yeah. right. As, it, if they're the same price, God, only a two dollar sure. increase over the last few years. They're gonna have to bump up that price again for them soon. Because shut up, brag. Like <laughs> shut up, zip. Oh no, no, I'm talking about for America. For us, they they've completely ignored it, and we we keep getting like fucked. But. For America, only a two dollar increase from the original ten dollar price point of structured X's. That's pretty good. You Americans have it lucky. <laughs> Enjoy your Texas manufacturing jobs. Uh, definitely not for tech issues. I'm going to do the rest of the podcast from here. Thank you all very much for listening and watching. Uh, if you are watching along, feel free to like and subscribe. If you are listening, feel free to favorite. Jump into our Discord. Uh, ask us some questions, and we'll catch you all next week. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>